this thing. All right. That's too quick on the draw. One hit wonders. I'll leave him for a minute. Distance casting. Oh, I want to lose him. He feels like a good fish. Just got to get everything out of my pockets. It's going to be interesting. I think it's a carp that he's stuck on. Oh, no. Oh bummer, he's treed me. Deep in the tree. Oh, that was a good fish. Big fish, got me. I was too worried about that thing there. It's like a mattress or something. I didn't want to get these hooks in it. Oh well, that'll teach me. Intrigued by everything today. <laughs> the reason why I wanted to use this lure today to this clip, settle down, buddy, was basically the distance I get out of these casts. Come here. Nice big chunk of the bass. Come on, buddy. It's, it's all about that distance. I can, I can really rip through these big holes for this lure and uh, as you see the quality of the fish that come up are all like him beautiful and see you buddy but this here, this lure I should have took a photo doesn't matter that lure there, it's a weapon it's an absolute weapon, have a little scars on it and you wouldn't think that would be a bass lure but uh, Already this morning, that's a few fish I've drawn off it. They're all big, got treed on the, or mattressed, like the back hook jammed in the mattress earlier on a big one. But uh, that was the main reason I wanted to show you this lure. Party room for the boys. bass I found. Just hide behind this pole. The water's so clear they're just coming out having one go and then tucking back in. So, so they're in here, they're in here tight. Yep. 
Yep, got it. Yeah. Yep, yep. Trying to drag on a bit, there's only a little bit. <laughs> a little fish, but geez, I had that dragged light. It nearly took me in. Bridge bass, you gotta love them. They're under every bridge. You wouldn't think a fish this big would go a lure that size, would you? But they do. There's the fish up there. Only a little. But I mean, I'm under a bridge in Sydney. And, uh, playing with these guys. How good is it? Got him out. Yep. Love that. The only lure in my box that could cast that far and make them cranky. I mean, the barometer's 1004. And I just, I just brought this little bass up with this. I mean. We got a really low, low barometer, and uh, I've just walked all the way up this stretch, and they just didn't want to come up for a surface lure. And I looked over there; you can see all the the timber and rock over there. I knew they'd be sulking on that, so then I pulled out a lure that would bring them up. And now, hopefully, I'll be able to get that whole school out into casting distance to try some other lures out. Anyway, I'll turn you off.